good y'all it's your man sam Ant here at viral hip-hop news go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you hit the notification bell to get all the latest notifications every time i drop a video i appreciate it all right man so we've been paying respects to the legendary john witherspoon since his unfortunate passing due to health reasons a little over a week ago now we've seen ice cube paul mooney chris tucker mike epps to say the least the wayans brothers paying their respect to this legend who has hit Hollywood and done some of the greatest Hollywood comedies that we have ever seen. We all were hoping to see the last installment of Friday with him recurring his role as Willie Jones, Craig's father, in the hilarious series. We've heard rumors on why this would happen, why not this would happen. We heard from Don V.C. Curry, Ice Cube, Mike Epps, Chris Tucker, John Witherspoon himself, you name it, they spoke about it. Well, Ice Cube at John Witherspoon's funeral finally broke the ice and gave some apologies to John Witherspoon. I'm going to play that clip now. Y'all enjoy the content. Enjoy Ice Cube, one of the greatest producers and musicians of all time. Pay his respects to a legendary figure, a legend that will never be forgotten. Y'all enjoy the content. Listen to what Ice Cube regrets the most about John Witherspoon passing and what he did not do before his untimely passing. Enjoy the content. Share this video. Hit that like button. Without further ado, let's listen to Ice Cube, baby. Let's go. I saw John Witherspoon on one of his skits. He had one line, and I knew I wanted him to be uh, my father on Friday. His one line was, why the hell they ain't playing no Al Green in here? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember that episode? <laughs> and I said, this is the funniest man alive. And I wrote Friday, you know, we had no idea we was gonna even make that movie. We just, me and DJ Pooh, we was fans of Hollywood Shuffle. We was fans of In Living Color. And we was like, yo, let's do a movie about our neighborhood. Uh, Boys in the Hood was out and Menace to Society. Everybody thought our neighborhoods was just riddled with crime and no happiness and no fun. And we wanted to do a movie that showed how much fun we had growing up, even though it was crazy around there. Um, John Witherspoon, when I'm writing Friday, is in my head as my father. Um, the reason I wanted him to be my father in that movie is because he reminds me of my real father. Uh, but my real father isn't as funny. <laughs> <You know. laughs> um, so, that, you know, he reminded me of my real father, and I knew if we got John Witherspoon, this was before we uh, decided to go with Chris Tucker, we knew if we f got John Witherspoon in the movie, the movie would be funny no matter who else we got in it. Um, and when he said, yeah, it was, it was one of the happiest moments, um, that we had making the movie is that we knew we had an anchor. We knew we had somebody who was 10 times funnier than us and, um, that the movie could possibly work. Um, a lot of comedians work on their craft. They work hard at it, and we appreciate that. But some people are just born funny. They ain't gotta work on nothing. They just get up, and they funny. And that was John Witherspoon, born funny. Um, and man, I do hardcore records, but I do funny movies. Because laughter is the medicine for our mind, body, and soul. It helps us get through this crazy world. And God bless the ones that make us laugh. Um, like I said, John was naturally funny. No matter how bad a script was, <laughs> It was nothing you could do to harness 
John's funny. It was going to come through. He was going to turn it into magic, no matter what you gave him. And that was his true gift. Think of the funniest people you know. Think of the funniest people that ever walked the earth. A lot of them looked at John to make them laugh. Think about that. You got people like Richard Pryor, Robert Townsend, Eddie Murphy. You got people like Martin Lawrence, the Wayne Brothers, Mike Epps, Chris Tucker, Cat Williams, the great David Letterman. Um, you got some of the funniest people that ever walked the earth, and they look to John to make them laugh. And a lot of them, back in the day, quiet as kept, was scared for John to open up for him. Hell no, nah, man. You too damn funny. Hell no. Nah. Pancakes. <laughs> now, John Witherspoon was funny as hell, but he wasn't no joke. Serious man, great man, and always wanted to do the right thing. I come from the world of rap. It's a lot of turmoil sometimes between rappers, a lot of beef. Comedians got that same beef going on sometimes. John would laugh at y'all. What the hell wrong with them? Better get that money. <laughs> and we all loved John because of that, because we knew we were in the presence of greatness. You couldn't be with him and not laugh. Um, it's a sad day today. You know, I know it's a celebration, but the world is just not as funny without John Witherspoon. It just ain't. Um, last time I had a chance to work with him, we did a, a promo for the Big Three League called, it was, a, it was based on the movie Friday, and he was the man, you know, we were, we were working on it, and, you know, John, he was last to get his close up, and we were wondering, did we, did we knock the commercial out, did we get it, did we, are we funny? And John Witherspoon, he gave us at least 12 takes, all of them different, all of them funnier than the last one. And a few weeks after that commercial had come out, somebody told me, hey, you guys, hey, y'all, that commercial won an award. Um, and I was like, wow, I didn't even know commercials could win a damn award. I didn't even know. And um, Angela, I'm going to make sure that you get that award. I think it's really, it's really John's award, you know. Um, I should have brought it with me today, but my mind is spinning. Um, I really love John. He loved John David to death. I mean, anybody that knew John know how much he talked about John David and loved John David. Um, I really apologize to my friend for not getting the next Friday movie made. Um, it's not my fault. <laughs> Some dumbass people in Hollywood at New Line Cinema, if you want to. 